for watching all the way to the end. The third anniversary will start soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't pause. All right. See you guys in the third anniversary. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna get me again. Woo <laughs> boy. Yeah, that's the spot. So yeah, it's double LF, as expected. The man Gogeta's coming out, boys! I told you this is the Gogeta Versary. Oh, they're gonna play the Don Don song in the game? All right, that's awesome, dude. It's the Gogeta Versary. We're gonna get that that uh, blue one to Zenkai. He's in here somewhere. And then we get SS4. It's finally time. Let's go, dog. I gotta it's watch that one more time. But they I gotta watch that one more time. I told y'all they're never gonna get me again. It's never happening like again, dude. Amazing, amazing game. Woohoo, boy! I wonder if he has uh hold on, hold on, hold on. The the fusion right there. I wonder if that's like a unique uh entry screen, just like uh the Ultra Goku. That would be so dope, actually. If we start getting more of those almost like fighters, that would be so dope. Let me watch it one more time. <laughs> that looks so clean. Yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> I freaking love the bluff coming kind of behind that they put there. They totally didn't have to do that. That's so awesome. Oh boy. Yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. Okay, all right. So we got Gogeta dropping alongside a bunch of GT characters. I assume the format's going to obviously be GT versus Future, just like last year. This time, though, it's double LF. Um, I wonder if the EXs are going to have one on each banner. That's probably what's going to wind up happening. So there's three sparkings on each banner and an EX on each because there's only two EXs in this batch. Uh, but they went all in on GT support for this anniversary. That's pretty exciting. LF Merge Zamasu. How many of you guys are going for Gogeta? How many of you guys are going for Zamasu? I was trying to say this, but I was trying not to talk over them that much. But uh, it was it was pretty apparent and pretty obvious that we have needed a God Key Red character for a very long time. We could still get like a Zenkai, for example. But I feel this is this is basic marketing, by the way. They purposely created an environment where we needed this character. So the demand is going to be high for him. And they made him an LF. <laughs> so your God key mains, he's going to be awesome on your team, you know, but he's an LF with that horrible pull rate. So, uh, yeah, it's basically marketing. That's why I was like, man, if, if they do drop an LF for God key, it's obviously going to be red. And here we are. So how many of you guys are pulling for him? You God key mains probably want to main him, obviously, on your team. So, again, they created that environment where you need him. Actually, really surprised they dropped another Vegito Blue. Not really, but I would have liked for him to actually be transforming. I thought that would be kind of cool. Purple is an interesting color because there's decent saturation for purple on his tags. So we'll see how he works out. Ultimately, he still probably winds up being one of the best characters for that grouping just due to power creep. Uh, and last but not least, Fusion Warrior. So Fusion Warrior, again, is getting that blue Gogeta. The free Where's that dude at, man? It's going to annoy me if I can't find him. He's in here somewhere. Anyways, that, that like freaking like 2018 blue Gogeta, he's Zenkai Awakening. They didn't say directly, but Toshi was like, <clears throat> yes, when, when he was asked if he's going to Zenkai. So he's going to Zenkai. And it just makes sense. Why would they give him out for free? I don't know. He's in here anyway. The blue transforming Dragon Ball Super Broly Gogeta. Th this dude's coming out. Uh, Fusion Zamasu is going to be on Fusions. And then obviously Gogeta is going to be on Fusions as well. So that's why when they were showing like the super sparking uh, whatever... I pointed out, I was like, oh, hey, they're dropping fusions. Here it is. Uh, fusions, future, and GT stuff. Huh. I wonder what's coming out. And here's the Gogeta I was talking about. So this is going to be interesting. I think that this is just, by the way, this is just the first half of the anniversary. Uh, if you want to kind of equate it to last year, last year for the second half of the anniversary, we got uh, a couple more banners that came out. We got the purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the future arc and the red SS Blue Goku. Uh, and then on top of that, we also had another band, which was uh, Super Kaioken and uh, PyCon, which I believe was from Goku Day, but they kind of just delayed it a couple of weeks, basically. 
So the second half of the anniversary, he said we'll have another video like this for uh, the middle slash second half of June. So about three weeks or so, give or take. And they're going to announce more stuff there. There's probably going to be a part two banner. We'll see what happens ultimately. But there's a lot of content and a lot of events that are coming up. And like I said, on the channel, we are going to be covering everything. So this is going to be uh, pretty interesting, man. So that's, that's pretty cool to see, man, that they dropped uh, Gogeta here. Let's go to the ending. There's nothing else here, dude. I already finished it. Not this time. It's not happening this time. I already know it's done. Um, so, yeah, uh, we, we have that coming up, and uh, there's a lot of content overall. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, third anniversary is upon us, guys. Here we go.